In one recurring mission in Rainbow Six Extraction, your special ops veteran is transported into a hellish parallel dimension where they face off against a malignant mutated facsimile of one of your fellow operators from the Rainbow Six Siege cast. An armored multi-tiered health bar appears across the top of the screen, and it depletes as you dump clip after clip of ammunition into their scaly carapace. It is a cosmic apocalyptic boss fight, and it's hard not to think about just how far this series has strayed from its once dogmatic faithfulness to gritty realism. In Extraction, Ubisoft successfully brings the series to its wildest frontiers yet, but while this high-stakes co-op creates thrills out the gate, it doesn't seem to have the same staying power as its competitive cousin. I'm Extraction makes a meek attempt to justify its science fiction. The heroes of Rainbow Six Siege have been deployed in teams of three to hold the line against a tide of parasitic aberrations annoyingly dubbed the Archaeans. So yes, Extraction is very much a traditional co-op shooter augmented by the sublime shooting mechanics Ubisoft mastered in the ever-popular Siege, but don't expect it to serve as a bold new chapter of the canon. From a game design perspective, this is a no-brainer. Extraction is a chance to enjoy Siege's one-of-a-kind gunplay in a slower-paced environment than the mother game's madcap competitive matches. Stealth is key. You slither through the muck with your two friends, hoping to take down the demons in silence in order to avoid unleashing the latent mob lingering behind every corner. We get to play with shooting mechanics that let us score headshots from across a map and through plaster walls while aiming at dumber, slower NPCs. It's a great way to indulge in the euphoria more than ever. In fact, Extraction often resembles an elaborate expansion to Siege. In another world, this could have easily been presented as a generous DLC pack, which makes sense considering a survival mode was first introduced to the series in the limited time 2018 Siege event outbreak. All of the operators you and your friends can choose from are directly imported from Siege, right down to their special abilities and character models. The familiarity has its upsides. It's nice for anyone who's played Siege to be able to pick up a beloved operator like Tachanka and know innately what role he fills on a team in Extraction. Similarly, the in-game geometry is tight and compact like a 5v5 Siege map, which is a departure from the elaborate cross-country treks demanded by games like Back for Blood and Left for Dead. In fact, everything from the art design to the gun models bear an uncanny kinship to the formula Ubisoft laid out in 2015. The only real difference in the look and feel is the thick layer of grisly galactic muck splayed across every surface. Rainbow Six Extraction is awesomely gross. Walls and floors bubble with black speed dampening ooze, and bulbous pustules glow in the dark and can be popped like water balloons. The enemies range from terrifying plated beasts stalking the corridors to bloated quadrupeds that detonate with noxious gas when struck with a bullet. Hell, when an operator is KO'd, they're smothered in a crusty yellow coat of foam. It's one of the most viscerally unpleasant things you'll see in a video game. Extraction has a fair amount of content available with 12 primary levels, though all of them play out the exact same way. You and your friends airdrop into a battlefront where you'll complete a random selection of three objectives, like eliminating a powerful target or a rescue. Once one of those three tasks are complete, the team can decide to pass through an airlock and attempt another mission or extract back to base with all the experience points they've banked. That creates a fun push and pull, which will undoubtedly reveal the conservative and aggressive tendencies among your party. The best moments of extraction by far are when someone in your group succumbs to the Horde. In that scenario, their body must be escorted back to the extraction point, because if you don't, or if your whole party wipes, the operator you left behind will be removed from your roster until you go back to that level and rescue them. This is a great mechanic. It brings to mind those anxious XCOM 2 runs where you try to escort a band of alien fighting agitators out of a fight gone bad. The stakes are high because if an operator is lost to the churn, you'll suffer a sizable debuff to your prestige-style progression threshold until they're rescued. It is possible to straight up lose a level after botching an assignment, which, while brutal, adds a palpable sense of drama to every firefight. It's questionable, though, whether Extraction will prove capable of sustaining its many good ideas in the long term. Like just about every other Ubisoft multiplayer game, this version of Rainbow Six is dripping with copious XP grinds that do not, in and of themselves, provide much motivation. Your overarching profile slowly unlocks extra munitions for your troops as you climb through the tiers, and each of your operators have their own level caps, leading to more weapons and cosmetics for their subsequent runs. It doesn't take more than a dozen or so hours for extraction to run out of intrigue. That's honestly the biggest problem here. At the end of the day, it's borrowing some of the best shooting mechanics of all time and applying them to a set of enemies that, plain and simple, will never be as creative and dynamic as the human beings lined up across from us in a Siege pickup group. Unlike the enduring Left 4 Dead games, there's no option to have players control the enemies and keep things unpredictable. That stark reality handicaps Extraction's potential. It's a good spin-off, but it's a spin-off nonetheless. 
Rainbow Six Extraction is one of the boldest games in recent Ubisoft history. Not only does it exchange the series' staid military realism for a wonderfully grotesque universe of oozing parasitic incursions, it also changes the objectives from competitive to cooperative and introduces mechanics that are determined to make us fear death. Returning to the scene of a failed mission in a desperate attempt to pry a friend's body from the festering horde is legitimately one of the most exhilarating operations ever attempted in a co-op video game. But Extraction's premise wears thin quickly, and its set of recurring objectives, while well-designed, don't offer quite enough juice to sustain itself as well as some other similar games. As a result, Extraction resembles a generous, well-executed expansion pack rather than a brand new game. For more co-op action, check out our reviews of the Early Access version of the Anacrusis, GTFO, and Back for Blood, and for everything else, stick with IGN.